630. Good evening, everyone. I'm Fletcher Mackle reporting this evening from my home in Mid-City. And right now, Pelicans Executive Vice President David Griffin, Vice President Swin Cash, and Head Coach Alvin Gentry are live on the NBA Twitter feed discussing racism, police brutality, and the shared responsibility to drive change. We will hear from all of them coming up tonight at 10 o'clock. But right now, let's talk about Gail Benson, the Saints and Pelicans owner within the last hour. She released a statement on behalf of both franchises about the murder of George Floyd. Gail Benson's statement starts by calling George Floyd's death a tragic and senseless murder. She goes on to say that today we spoke with Demario Davis, Lonzo Ball, and J.J. Redick. These players are passionate about finding a solution and working in solidarity with their fellow teammates. They are all committed to change, addressing action items, and building towards future social change. Other players like Malcolm Jenkins spent the last two days marching in peaceful protest in Philadelphia. Jenkins, of course, played the last six seasons with the Philadelphia Eagles. He's now back with his original NFL team, the New Orleans Saints. Also, Pelicans player Jackson Hayes spent the weekend at a peaceful protest in downtown New Orleans. And former Saint Ben Watson, who wrote a book on race several years ago, appeared on the NFL Network show, Good Morning Football, to talk about the George Floyd murder. We need to move, and we haven't moved yet in this culture to actually make substantive changes in our, legal, in our legal system, in our law enforcement system, in our justice system. That's why we keep seeing some of these same things happen over and over again. And back to Saints and Pelicans owner Gail Benson. If you want to read her full statement, you can go to the WDSU website or any of our social media platforms right now. For now, reporting live from my home, I'm Fletcher Mackle, WDSU News.